welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming a get ready with me. I'll show you how I do this simple makeup look. Nothing crazy, just staying at home. I'm sure a lot of us are right now. But I still like to put makeup on just to kind of play around a little bit and help myself feel a little bit more put together. I also showed you a quick little hair tutorial. Again, very simple, just a little twist back thing. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my previous videos. I've done a get to know me Q&A and I also did my first vlog. So I really appreciate if you could support those videos as well. That way we can grow this community and I'm really excited to get to know you guys. Leave some comments down below. Uh, I mentioned this in the video, but I really want to know some new makeup products you guys have been loving because I've been kind of in a rut with my makeup routine lately and I kind of want to try some new products. So if you guys could recommend some down below, that'd be great. Give this video a like if you want to see more beauty content because that's definitely something that I love doing. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Morning guys. Got my coffee. Cheers. Let's get ready. All right. First, I'm just gonna wet my beauty blender. It's actually not a real beauty blender. It's just one that I got off of Amazon. Beaky, love beauty, Beaky. It's a lot cheaper than a real beauty blender and to me it works exactly the same. So how's everyone's day going? It's a Saturday here when I'm filming this and you know, we're under a stay at home order, which I'm sure a lot of people are. So there's really no reason for me to put makeup on today, but I figured why not, might as well. I haven't worn makeup at all this week, so I just kind of wanted to play around with makeup today. I'm still going to do a basic look. This is kind of like just what I would do on a regular basis. It's not um, like special or anything, but I figured I would just film and share it with you guys. Why not? First, I'm going to use this concealer from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, and I use the shade Light 15, so I'm just going to put this under my eyes. This stuff makes a huge difference because I get really bad under eye circles and I feel like this really camouflages it. Here, I'll do it on just one side so you guys can see the difference. And then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. And I bring it onto my eyelid too because my eyelids get really dark. And I'm probably not gonna use eyeshadow today so I at least want it to be a little bit covered. I wonder if you guys can tell the difference in this lightning. There, you see how this one looks so much more sunken in than this side? It doesn't cover it perfectly, but for just everyday makeup, it does a really good job. At least it like brightens it up a little bit. There, that's good. I feel like you can tell the difference. See how this one looks a lot brighter than this one? Just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Do you guys prefer makeup sponges like this or are you more of like a brush person? Let me know in the comments. I feel like I like this better for concealer, but for foundation, I like using a brush. And then I use a different concealer for my face. This is just the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in the shade five. This is a little bit too light for me, believe it or not. I'm very pale, but this is still a little bit too light, but it works. I'll at least use it up before I switch to a darker shade. And I just put this on wherever I have like breakouts or any kind of discoloration around my face, which for me is usually like around my mouth and then on my forehead. So that's all blended in. Now on a daily basis, I don't really use liquid foundation that often. I have oily skin, so I much prefer a powder foundation. This one is from Unique. It's the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Velour. I love this powder. My mom sells Unique makeup, so I buy it from her and this is like my holy grail. Uses every day. So I just pack it on. This is just an e.l.f. powder brush. It's really cheap, but it's really good. I like how it's flat, because then you can really pack on for more coverage. And you don't have to use that much powder. So I just put that all over my face, blend it in, make sure, I always try to blend it like all the way to the edges. That way you don't get that, you know, foundation line. You can still get it with powder. And then I set under the eyes. When I'm feeling fancy, I use a different powder for under my eyes, but this is just simple makeup. So I'm just using the same powder all over my face. And I like this powder because it has really good coverage, but it's like not 
you don't have to be super fussy with it. You could just be sloppy and it's gonna like blend itself out and look perfect no matter what. That's why I love this powder. You can tell I love it. Look how much I hit pan on that. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use this and this is also from Unique. This is the beachfront bronzer. I like this one because it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't look like sparkly on your face. It's one of those like baked ones where it's got two sides to it, but I just kind of mix them all together. So I just do a little bit. I shake off the excess and then I just put it on my cheeks and then under my jawline like that. And again, I kind of blend it onto my ear. I know that's a little weird, but then you don't get any harsh lines. I don't really use bronzer to contour. I just use it to kind of warm up my face and give some dimension. And then I do the same thing on the sides of my forehead like that and kind of like at the top. But I try not to put it in this area. I just try to keep it like on the outsides of it like that. Since I'm very pale, my neck especially is usually paler than my face, especially when I put makeup on. So I usually put some extra bronzer on my brush and I just bring it down my neck. And then with this shirt kind of shows off my chest a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it all the way down just so it looks even. And again, it's an added bonus. This has a little bit of shimmer in it because it looks really nice on your chest and like decollete area. Okay, now for blush, let's see. Since I use the shimmery bronzer, I'm gonna use a matte blush today. Look, we're using all unique stuff. Like I said, my mom sells Unique, so I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to buy any of the things I'm mentioning. I swear by their products, they're really good. So I just take, this is a Real Techniques blush brush, and I just go like this one time, and I brush off the excess on the mirror, then I smile to find my apples of my cheeks, and then I just blend like that. And I bring it upwards like this. Since I have a round face, I feel like it helps make my face get better angles. And I kind of like to embrace the little, you know, round cheeks that I have, so I like to focus it there and then bring it back. I don't like to put too much because my face naturally gets pink, so I don't like to put too much blush. And sometimes I'll go like this across my nose really fast because it kind of simulates being sun-kissed a little bit. I take my the brush that I use for my bronzer, this is also from Real Techniques, and I just kind of blend it out just so it looks more natural. And that way, just in case I put too much on, it's not going to look as pigmented. If I still feel like I put way too much on, then I'll usually use the brush I use for my powder and I'll kind of like stamp over to kind of dull it down a little bit. But I found that blush is usually the first thing that fades from your face, so while you're doing your makeup, it might look like you have too much on, but after like 30 minutes, it looks good. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for the face. Now I'm going to just use some brow gel. This is just a clear brow gel from Maybelline, the Brow Fast Sculpt. My eyebrows are already kind of thick and full, so I don't really have to do too much to them. So I just use a clear brow gel to kind of tame them the way that I want. So I start by brushing the hairs up. And then I kind of shape them down like this. So that my arch is defined. So I kind of create like this kind of shape. Like that. Probably need to tweeze my eyebrows to be honest, but you know, it's fine. eyeshadow on today just because like I said we're not really doing anything I'm just putting makeup on just because so but I am gonna put on some eyeliner this is also from unique everything I use is like unique or Maybelline <laughs> and then once you find things that you like you don't really want to keep trying new things because you're worried that it's not gonna work as well so if you have any new products that you guys have been loving lately leave them in the comments below that way you can help me mix up my routine a little bit. I'm just putting this in my waterline. I have really big round eyes, so I kind of do this to make them look not so like, you know. It kind of makes them look more, what's that word? Almond shape? I don't know, we'll go with that. 
And then before I put on mascara, I'm gonna use a face setting spray. I'm gonna use the NYX, here we go, something that's not Maybelline or unique. The NYX matte finish setting spray. I do have oily skin, so this one's really good. And then fan it. I do that before mascara, because I find if I put mascara on first and then spray this, this kind of like weighs that down my lashes. So I like to do that first. Okay, I have three mascaras I've been liking recently, so I don't know which one to use today. Let's go with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This mascara is a little too goopy for me in a way, so I have to like clean off the brush a little bit, but I also really like the brush, that's why I, I still use it. And I'll show you a trick after when it gets too goopy. these cheap elf lash and brow ones it's got like a little spoolie at the end and I just use that after mascara if it looks like too goopy and not separated enough that way I can really get in there with no extra product but just separate my lashes more that way they look more like fanned out instead of all stuck together it helps to like evenly distribute the product without throughout your lashes. My lips have been kind of dry lately, so I've been using this, what is this called? O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. This is actually the same brand that makes that stuff um, for if you work with your hands a lot, like and you get cracked hands, it's the same brand. So this is really good for your lips too. So I like to put that on before I put anything else. That way I have a nice layer of moisture. I like that. As you can see, my lips already kind of have their own pigment to it, so I have to be really careful with what lip colors I use because otherwise I look like a clown <laughs> in an instant. So let me see what we're going to use today. Like, so we're not really going anywhere, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. We'll just do a lip gloss today. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. One of those like your lips but better shades for me. It makes my lips look a little bit more pink. But it still looks really natural. And I think that's it guys. See, very simple. Here, I'll show you guys how I do my hair too since the makeup was so simple today. So this is second day hair, so I'm just gonna add some dry shampoo to it. I like to use the, is it not your mother's clean freak? This is unscented. Just shake it up. And I only really put it like at my roots at the front because that's really the only place I need it. This does leave a white cast, but I like this one better than some of the other options because it's a little bit more natural. It doesn't have as many harsh chemicals for your hair. It's not the best, but it, it, does, it does a good job. So I kind of let that soak for a little bit so that I can kind of soak up the excess oils and then we'll come back when I brush it out. Okay, this has had some time to soak. I'm just gonna work it in with my fingers first. I use like a bristle brush like this to get the white cast out first. I use a brush like this to actually brush and style my hair. Get all the knots out. I don't really do much with my hair. I usually just clip my bangs out of my face. So I kind of just gather the ones at the front. Like this, and then I twist it back. Then I bring it around and then I just clip it. Like that. And that's all I do. And then I can use a finishing spray. This is by Innersense. It's called the I Create Finish. 
Again, I like this one because it's more natural for my hair. It doesn't have any of those harsh chemicals. It's not really an aerosol, it's more like a finishing spray. So like, I like it because it doesn't make your hair crunchy. Reward myself with some coffee. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.